Ali on St Patrick's Day, appropriately, we are at uh, St Pat's Technical College in um, Elizabeth, and with me is the appropriately named Patrick Kelly, who is the, uh, the business development manager here at the school. And in fact, there's an assembly going on. Where we are is in the kitchen, where a lot of the students are putting their skills to the test. Um, there's an assembly going on at the moment to celebrate 10 years of the school. So thank you for allowing us into your world no worries, very briefly. Spence. Very happy to have you. So um, firstly, I mean, the facilities in here, for anybody who wants to get into hospitality, mm. the first thing that springs to mind, there's some really good gear in here, isn't there? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Really good quality stoves, good bench tops, nice refrigeration. Everything is here to get people going. Ten years you've been doing this, and a lot of discussion about um, about um, the role of academia um, and the way people progress from school. Your focus here is to get students into a trade environment, isn't it? That's exactly right, Spence. The, the school was established in 2007 with that dual purpose of allowing students to finish Year 12 but embark on a trade career as part of that journey. Um, and... Everything that we do here um, is focused on that, Jenny. So when our students study maths or English or science, it relates directly back to the trade training that they're undertaking um, while they're here on campus. Mm. And I've met a few of your students. Mm. Uh, and one of the things I really like about the students I've met from here is that they're all confident. Mm. Uh, they're not afraid to, to have a conversation. Uh, and there seems to be a level of pride. So and I think that's probably one of the most important things we have a look at any school, is that a student should leave with confidence in their own ability to be self-sufficient. A, a big part of what we do, Spence, with all of our students is really talk about what it takes to be employable. Employability skills are, are, are really so important when it comes to landing that first role in the workforce. And I think what you've seen when you've spoken to our students is that employability um, skill coming out um, in the way that they communicate with older people, potential employers, mm. um, as well as colleagues in the industry. Ten years. Ten years. Mm. What, have you, what have you seen in that time? Um, well, from, from starting from a zero base, uh, we've now put 775 young people into apprenticeships. Now, there's 775 that we know of. They've signed their contracts of training whilst they've been enrolled here at the school. We also know that there are many students who, post-graduation, one month, three months, six months, um, after they finish their time at St Pat's, have then moved into an apprenticeship soon afterwards. Um, we've actually been uh, undertaking a bit of a study of all of our old scholars over the last six months to have a look at some of those destinations of where the students have ended up. Um, we've got about 1,420 old scholars, uh, so in that includes the, the cohort that are here on campus at the moment, our Year 11s and 12s at the moment. So we're running at around about 60% of students who have left the school are in work. Mm. What's been really pleasing from the study that we found is that around about 93% of those students complete their apprenticeship. Now, the national figures on trade apprenticeship completions is around about 56%. So I think it's a testament to the sort of program that's been set up here in the last 10 years um, in the northern suburbs of Adelaide. Yeah, and the, and the apprentices I've met, or the students from here who are potentially going to go on to an apprenticeship, um, or we're in the, with the cooking students here now, um, but I've met some carpenters, those who want to get into carpenter, I've met some welders, I met a plumber who was keen to get into plumbing. So it's quite diverse, and it, it is just year 11 and 12? It is just year 11 and 12. And it, it's all about, it's about being focused. Mm. This, this is for students who, at the end of year 10, have decided that I'm not necessarily on that pathway to university. I'm on my pathway to a trade, a trade career. Um, this is the education institution that gives them that head start. Mm. It contextualises everything that they're going to do as part of their final years of school and prepares them for the world of work. Everybody who's been to a technical college, which used to be a, a part of living in Adelaide, um, this will resonate with them because we had Norwood Tech, we had Goody Tech, places like that where this happened basically from, well, from year eight, realistically, yeah. And we actually have teachers here at the school who went through those very schools, did their trade qualifications at places like General Motors Holden or at the Defence Science Technology Organisation, and in later years have come back and had a, done a teaching degree, and we now have them here on our staff. Mm. Patrick Kelly, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Happy St Patrick's Thank Day you. and enjoy. Thank you very much, Spence. Ali on St Patrick's Day, appropriately, we are at uh, St Pat's Technical College.